All right, spot prices are dipping pretty good, which is a, a decent thing. So yeah, I bought the dip. All right, so <laughs> does this change your strategy, right? Uh, kind of confusing, huh? You know, we've been told over and over and over again that we're in this super cycle or this bull market with gold and silver. And it's kind of confusing to a lot of people as far as what's taking place. And and I get it. And this is the place where you should come to not get confused, right? Or not to panic. You know, it's this is just the way it goes. All right. So you can look at it a couple of ways, right? You can look at it as a buying opportunity, which a lot of people do. You know, they, you know, that's like the mantra of, of silver and gold stackers to buy the dip. Well, I bought the dip. I bought some new capsules. That's all I bought. I, I almost uh, did make another purchase twice this weekend, but uh, my head got the better of me on this. Uh, but I did get in some stuff. From uh, my good buddy Stacking Stormtrooper, uh, I made a trade with him, and these are the Hades, and this is kind of what I've been doing this year. I have been, you know, getting these types of coins in, and uh, and for for a couple of reasons, right? And, and I haven't been coy about it at all. You know, I've I've spoke my mind about what I think silver's doing this year, where I think it's going, or. Uh, just how ridiculous the premiums have been and and uh, the reasons why I haven't really been stacking much of it and to be honest with you I've really only bought probably about 30 ounces of just regular bullion and 20 of those just happened to be <laughs> silver eagles the new silver eagles that came out and that's just been my strategy this year and, and I'm kind of glad that I've done so because if you haven't noticed you know the, the precious metals that fell off a cliff on Sunday and they kind of, you know, the slide, you know, continued into on Monday and, and I'm recording this Monday afternoon because I kind of wanted to digest, let it hit about 24 hours before I make a video because I don't want to be the first, you know, to bring the news. I kind of want to get the news right. And I'm going to release this video on Tuesday. So I just kind of want to, you know, let it sink in, let it settle, you know, because it's, it's easy to get on here and just say, buy the dip, go crazy, you know. This is your chance to back up the truck. You know, that's just, I just, I, you know, I don't think that way. Uh, a lot of people do. Right. And that's fine. That's cool. Sometimes you can get great deals, you know, before the bullion dealers will go on their websites and change the algorithms. You know, you can actually go on there and you can score some good stuff. Right. So uh, as far as buying silver, that's what I've been doing this year is I've been buying the collectibles. And the reason why I've been buying the collectibles is because they're not really susceptible to those sudden shifts in prices and as far as the hype and the over exaggeration of where silver should be or where it's going or where it needs to be you know i kind of you know i've kind of shunned away from that and i've kind of unsubscribed to a lot of that stuff literally and uh and to be quite honest with you i've been making better decisions for it uh, i've been buying things that i know are going to hold their value right like I bought uh, all these lucky dragons right here. Uh, well, not lucky dragon, whatever this thing is. Uh, I've been buying those because I know that I'm going to get my money back because they're just not susceptible to those sudden shifts in spot price. Uh, they just hold their value just a little bit better. And that has been my strategy this year as far as buying silver. If I'm going to keep buying silver, this is what I'm going to be buying. Now, I know a lot of y'all, you know, you say, well, I'm constitutional silver only or I'm only buying bars or <laughs> you know, war nickels or silver eagles, maples, whatever. And I get it. You got to do what works best for you. And as far as my gold buying strategy, that hasn't changed whatsoever. Right. You know, I'm a blue collar guy. Uh, I do make a little bit of profit from YouTube. But I promise it's not much. The reason why I stack as much gold as I do is because I've invested in my business, right? My personal uh, way of, of buying gold. And that's how I've been able to accumulate gold. It's not because of, of YouTube or ad revenue. It's just not that great. And whenever you 
go ahead and you add in the time that it takes, right? You know, you're talking three to four hours per video. Then you got to, uh, then I always answer comments, you know, questions, emails, you name it, which I enjoy. I, I enjoy doing it because I can't talk about precious metals with my normal everyday interactive people. So I like doing it on this YouTube channel. So buying gold, I strictly buy gold from my business profits. That's it. And that has been my strategy all year. That has been my strategy most of last year. And going forward, that's what's going to continue to drive my gold stack going forward. Now, I do buy silver whenever hot releases or hot coins come out. And I'll have a couple of those coming in. And by the way, this is the new capsules I was just showing you that I bought on the dip. And I kind of like them. These are the guardhouse. Uh, they're a little bit better in my opinion. I like them Not as much wiggle in them and uh, They hold pretty well And uh, I gotta say guys uh, Changing my strategy uh, Going forward as far as buying the buffalo instead of the eagle that may be a strategy that I'm willing to change or part with because for quite some time we've we've seen the uh, you know pretty much most of this year We've seen the American Gold Buffalo. Let me see. If I know I got a 2021. We've seen uh, the American Gold Buffalo, right? We've seen the, the prices on these. Pretty much the same price as the American Gold Eagle. And right now, that's kind of changing. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I make no mistake about it. I'm a huge fan of the American Gold Buffalo, right? Huge fan. Four nines, fine. 24 karat gold. But the premiums on the new Gold Eagles, they're way down. And the design is starting to really, uh, I'm starting to really like it. Uh, I, I do. It's, I like it a lot better than the new Silver Eagles for sure. And uh, I, I, it's growing on me and the premiums coming down. That's, that's a win-win, guys. And uh, as far as changing my strategy, from stacking just mostly uh, the American Gold Eagles as far as fractions. I don't see that changing either. Um, and, and I don't uh, see my strategy as far as buying the, the maples in fraction. I don't see that changing either. Uh, I like both of them. Uh, but, uh, you know, as far as, you know, the overall price and where gold's going and being in a super cycle and all that. I really don't subscribe to that stuff, guys. I really don't. Uh, I'm more interested in putting something away to hold it, right? That's what the whole purpose of gold is for me. Uh, now, I do sometimes do sponsored videos. And some of you guys are probably aware of that. And that money actually gets reinvested into other things outside of precious metals. And, uh, and that's just something that... I really don't even see as far as revenue goes. I just put that back into the market and, and, and that's <laughs> what I'm doing right now. That's my strategy going forward. And uh, I really do. I know it's irritating for some of you guys. You guys hate that. And I just want to say thank you for those who do watch it. And, you know, some people do enjoy those. But uh, going forward, I'm not going to do a whole bunch of them, but I will do some from time to time. And I just wanted to get that across to you guys as far as my strategy goes and where I'm going, how my stack is going and what I see going forward. I'm going to continue to buy the same way that I'm buying right now because it just makes sense to me personally. Uh, I'm not trying to tell you which way you should buy or which way you shouldn't. I'm not telling you which silver or which gold you should buy. This is just what's working for me. And there are plenty of other videos out there that could, you know, if you're interested in that, that could give you light or give you some understanding of what works best for you, right? Uh, I'm not uh, going to tell you one way or the other which one you should buy. The only thing that uh, I would consider is, you know, be comfortable, you know, make solid decisions. If don't impulse buy and, uh, you know, just sleep on it is the best advice anybody can give you. Just sleep on it before you buy and you'll feel a lot better. And <laughs> that's what I've done uh, since this past dip. And I feel a lot better because I want to see where this thing is going. I want to see if this uh, is going to continue to slide. 
that's going to do it for today, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Keep grinding on your stack.